Dark Swamp area is huge. It's my husband's country, but when my mum and dad were both young, they were sent out to work to the same country town, but to different kinds of jobs. And my mum was a carer and a housemaid for a family that had a little disabled boy. So she worked in the township and my dad worked on a really big sheep farm. And they met, as people do, and um, they got married and then remained in that particular area. They bought a property in Three Springs, which is where I was born. I'm the eldest of 14, so I consider that my country, it's the country where I grew up. My mum and dad never came back down to their country until we were all adults and married and, you know, and they decided to come back down this way. They came back and lived out at Gosnells and of course we all followed. I like where there's bush and trees, it's great. We lived up the road here for a couple of years when we first moved to the city. Then we discovered this, and my kids used to come down here and play. Actually, my younger son fell off a branch here somewhere, broke his arm, and one of the neighbours brought him home. And she was telling me that she's lost count of how many kids have broken a, a leg or an arm or something, or dislocated their shoulder climbing on trees in here. <laughs> It's interesting to see the paperbark trees and you wonder, you know, like they come from probably the, the same beginning, but then they've got all these branches that are branching out. Well, that's like a family tree, isn't it? You can understand how the kids want to come here and climb the trees and just play. Yeah. It's a nice area. I always say one day, whenever I win one of these big lottos, you know, I'll come buy a house out here at North Beach, yeah. But I do like to see it, you know, come and just sit and look. It's sort of calming and makes you feel good. When we first moved out here to North Beach, my granddad, he said to me a long time ago, a lot of our people lived out there. And it wasn't until later that I realised that Aboriginal people, families, lived here. It has a lot of significance for Aboriginal people because this used to be their camping area and sometimes they would come in from outlying areas like Kalgoorlie or different country areas. They would come in here and they would have robbery or, or whatever and they had fish traps down over at Trigg and that was one of the things that my granddad told me that the people used to set their fish traps. They'd collect the fish and bring them over here and dry them out. And then, you know, when the other people came from different country areas or inland areas, they would swap things like different tools or foods perhaps that they've dried out. So it was a huge meeting place and I like to think that um, somewhere or way back, I may have had a relative living here. <laughs> and that hence how I feel about the place. I just feel comfortable here, I feel calm. Everything is gone from my mind when I come here and I can just sit in the quietness. I love it out here, absolutely. And I'm sure I'm not the only person that has a feeling for, for this particular area. Amazing place.